hello traders so if you are confused between different type of trade orders like if you don't know the difference between a market order what is a buy limit order what is a sell limit order what is a buy stop order what is sell stop order and what is the difference between a buy stop limit what is the sell stop limit then this video is for you in this video i'm going to explain every type of trade orders that you can use at different trade conditions so you can use these type of trade orders in meta trader 4 meta trader 5 so you can use these type of orders in forex market in stock market or crypto market also or any other tradable asset that is available on these softwares these two these two type of order only available with the mt5 software so i'm going to explain every type of order with live example on live chart so let's start with the market execution order so market as the name suggests the market execution order is the type of trade order that you can place and if you want to place like for the current scenario if the price is trading at 1918 and i want to enter at the current market price then i have to place the market order so at market order whenever you place the trade the your order get executed at the current market price so it will if you want to buy at the market price you have to place a market execution order market buy order and if you want to sell from that particular current price of the asset like i'm trading gold if you want to sell gold at 1918 1918 and you want to sell it then you have to sell it on market execution at that current particular price level so in mt5 there are two button you can see this one is for market order and this one is for limit order market this one is for market when you turn this on this one let me turn this on when you turn this on you can see i can see a sell and buy button so when you place a sell uh, button your order get executed at the market execution because i have selected this on our uh, this order book so if i place a sell let me show you it will get executed at the current market condition like this it will placed at the current market price so this uh, price uh, this order can get executed at different uh, levels due to spread and it always depend on the type of account that you're trading with you can select a zero account but in a zero or spread account uh, you will charge with a commission so spread is also a type of commission so a market execution is a type of order which get executed at the market price okay so now let's move on to the buy limit order so this is a buy limit this one right over here so buy limit is a type of order that you want to place like current price is 1917 but you do not want to enter at the market order you want to uh, buy the buy the trade at a lower level like you want to buy at 1908 like you are waiting if you want to wait like when price get at 1908 you should get enter in the market then you have to use a buy limit and buy limit order always get executed at a lower level from the current trading price similarly for sell limit like if you want to sell at 1928 then you have to place a sell limit like you you want to sell at a higher price level then you have to place a sell limit order okay so the main difference is like for buy limit always you have to wait at a lower price level and for sell limit you always have to wait for a higher price level so this is the difference between a buy limit and sell limit now let's move on to the buy stop order so let me uh, give you example with the uh, of the buy limit with this this button this right over here this is mt5 in mt4 you have to manually place the order so in the buy limit let me show you we move on to the live chart if i click on the button you can see right over here i can adjust the price like if i want to enter at 1908 then i have just have to tap on the place 
so in the lower side of the current price you can always place a buy limit like this anywhere below to current trading price but if i move it to above to the current trading price it automatically converted into the sell limit order so in the higher side you have to place a sell limit order so this is the difference like if i want to place sell on this level then just click on or tap on the place so this order get executed only when the price reach at 1943 so now let's move on to the buy stop order so this is the buy stop so for buy stop let me explain this to you suppose the price current price uh, you can see is trading at the 1918 but you let me turn it to the lower time frame so you will get a better idea but let's clear uh, let's first clear all the order from chart this is a demo account and i suggest you to try try this all type of order on the demo account first and then try to trade with these type of order on the live account so for buy stop like this is the market condition right now and you want to place a buy stop order so for the buy stop like uh, buy stop order uh, where you can use it so for buy stop like you are expecting that market if price are uh, going to test 1928 like this is a resistance level okay so you want to enter only after the break out of this level and you are expecting that after the break out of 1920 this uh, price can go in the higher side with a good movement and you want to enter at a early position only after the breakdown so you only have to the breakout in case of buy so you have to place a buy stop so if you are expecting that after uh, the breakout of a particular level particular resistance level the price might go up then you have to place a buy stop because after the breakout of this that level you will enter at that particular level like same in case of sell like if you want to enter at this level and you are expecting that after the breakdown of this particular level that then then price might further go down so you ha you have to enter with the sell stop okay so in case of breakdown of particular support level you want to enter at the earliest and you you do not want to miss a big sell move then you have to place a sell stop after the breakdown of that order let me show you with example so this is a buy stop it always get placed at the higher side of current trading price so if i want to enter only above this level when the price break above this level like this you want to enter only after the break above this higher point so you have to place a buy stop so this is a buy stop order now let's move on to other two orders two type of order the one is buy stop limit the buy stop limit is a different type of order and it is available only in the mt5 or metatrader 5 so for buy stop let me explain to you. so for buy stop limit actually if you are expecting a different kind of move let me show you like the current price is 1919 and you are expecting that from 1919 price can go up like this and you are expecting a good buy move but you are expecting that the buy move is only possible at this particular level if price reach from 191 to 1925 then this can go further up so but you do not want to enter here you want to enter at a lower price like somewhere between this like 1921 okay you want to enter here this is your trigger point and this is your entry point and then price can move like this then you have to use the buy stop limit let me explain one more time like price is trading at 191 this is the current trading price and you are expecting that price can go 
at a particular level at 1925 and then this move can go further up but you do not want to enter here you want to enter at a lower price like in between these two order uh, from current price and uh, from your trigger point then you have to place a buy stop limit similarly in case of sell like you are expecting that from 191 wine the price can move like this and after uh, testing a particular level like uh, 1915 it might go further down but before going down you want to enter at a higher price like this so from 1919 you do not want to enter here but this is your trigger point and you want to enter here 191 suppose uh, at 17 okay so you have to place a sell stop limit okay let me show you whenever you try to place a buy stop limit you you can see two type of uh, points on your chart let me show you with the buy stop limit example so when you place this like you can see so you have to place a two price uh, level this one is your trigger point and when price reach over to this level then you have to place another uh, limit order this one stop limit price like you want to enter after the testing of 1924 when price go back again let me give you example again uh, like this right over here so when you, when the price first test 1924 and when it retraces back to 1921 then you you can enter in the trade you just have to place a uh, buy stop limit similarly in case of sell you have to place a reverse order like this so these are the different type of order that you can use in trading in different trading assets thank you